morning, he said, from Zetsterslev. I'm visiting friends, my hubby and I, we are visiting friends on, our, on their farm. And you can hear the workers working in the background. And um, Hannes and Rene, our friends, they usually give us a house to stay in. We never stay with them in the house. They say, listen, we've got this beautiful guest house with many, many rooms and houses and we want you to experience just being on your own when you want to. So this time they gave us Hannes's parents' house. So, oh my goodness, it's a real old farmhouse, like the ones I grew up in. I mean, I'm from the farm and I just love, love, love being on a farm. I mean, it's like heaven to me. And um, we're in this, this little house got this beautiful old vintage kitchen. I'm going to show you, but I mean, I've got my, my phone now on this little stand, so I'm going to try and, and show you everything. And um, when we came here, we usually bring our own, always g travel with coffee. Yes, we're coffee snobs. We like ground plunger, call it American, whatever, coffee. But when we grew up, our parents, they were most, mostly farmers, they made it a special way. We call it in, in Africa, moor coffee. So when we entered this little room, huge kitchen actually, when we entered this kitchen and we're looking for a plunger, there were no plungers. And then we found this. I mean, a real coffee thing to make in tea or your coffee. And um, how do you make moor coffee in this? Now look at this. Isn't this awesome? This is an old, old bag. I mean, they've... This, you can see this has been used many, many, many times. That's why it's dark and it's wet. I just washed it. But it's, a, it's made of cloth and um, it must be thick enough, but also it, it, it sounds funny, but also the little holes must be big enough so that the water can go through, but the coffee stays. So this bag, you throw in your coffee, I'm going to do it now, and then you place it in this, that you fill up with water, and you boil it on the stove. So let me show you. And then when you throw out the coffee, the, the bag keeps the coffee grounds safely out of the coffee. Isn't it awesome? So we all grew up with this. And now in my house and here, you've, you have these kettles. This is a kettle full of these handmade things. You can also see, look there, in order to keep this bag nice and round, you just use a, we call it draught. <laughs> blow draught wire you just use and you make a wire and you stitch it you fasten it by stitching it onto the wire and voila there you have your little bag i don't know if you, you use this in other countries please please let me know but this is really really very south african very farm life so now i'm gonna throw in some water I'm going, throwing in some water. Oh, I just do cold water because I'm going to put it on the stove. But you can also put in boiling water. So then I place my bag. I fold this up about three quarters full. Now I put my bag in. And this is my coffee. We brought it from home. So you can see the coffee smelling divine. And um, now, oh, let's, uh, I think that will be about three big mugs full. So then you just throw in your coffee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three into your bag. And then this is a gas stove. Let me just take that away. This is a gas stove. So you have to lit it first. And um, I've got my Firokis. Who, who uses this anymore? I mean, you've got lighters and everything, but we still use our matches. So there it's on. And now I'm putting my coffee kettle on this thing. I'm just making the flame a little bit smaller. I cover it. And um, it's still dry on top, so oh, I'm just stirring it to make it wet. The coffee grinds. And now I'm waiting for it, for it to boil. And that's how we make coffee in Africa. So now I'm going to show you the little kitchen. And another thing when I came here, I looked in the cupboards for plates and cups. And I saw this vintage set. Oh my goodness, I hyperventilated. I just made coffee and then I realized I'm going to make a video to show you guys how to make. And then I threw this it in this vintage cup. So every time I come to visit, I use these vintage cups. Because guess what? There's no machine to wash the dishes. And these cups, old vintage cups, you cannot really use in a in a um, was machine, in a machine that wash your dish, dishwasher. And you also cannot put these into the microwave. So I never use my heirlooms at home. I've got many, many of these things. Beautiful. I love them dearly. But I'm too lazy to do washing. I use a wash a dishwasher. So here I no dishwasher. So is it needs to wash? So why not use this? And I mean, drinking out of this is like manna out of heaven. I just feel wonderful drinking out of this. And then they also have they also have the plates, the large plates. So hubby and I. We're drinking our coffee, I'll show you now, on the stoop out of these vintage cups. And we're eating our breakfast and our lunch mostly that I also prepare in this kitchen here. And then at night we go and have a braai or we visit with Hannes and Ringy next door in their beautiful home. I've put many, many photos on my Facebook Zetsters Lab, my Facebook page, on, in, on my Traveling Ad Adventures um, Facebook page. And you will see all the photos and of this wonderful farm and what I'm experiencing here. Because we can't travel overseas because of COVID, so now we're here and I'm loving it just as much. On the farm with the horses and the sheep. And every morning I get up before the half past six to see the sun comes up. And I sit on my stoop that I will show you now. And I look at the sun coming up. And all the workers that are walking past this stoop. They are working next door. Rini and Hannes are getting ready and we are helping. They've got a, a family um, wedding coming up in two weeks where two of Rini's brother's daughters are getting married simu simultaneously. So it's going to be a huge wedding and then there's still things to be done. So hubby came to help with the electricity, electricity and I help just by being here and I paint a little bit here and there and I make food and I encourage them and do what they need me to do so let me show you i can hear this they're starting to boil so it's nearly nearly ready so i'm gonna put this off because when i come back showing you the 
the kitchen and the stoop it's gonna be boiling over so I'm putting this off ouch 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 and then I now want to show you still burning still burning you can see the coffee in there the grinds whatever and why not I'm gonna pour into another cup if I can stop myself from burning and there you can see it look at my coffee it's not very strong because I didn't boil it long enough but I'm showing you and it's gorgeous so I'm just gonna throw it in and allow it to stand and soak a little bit more and then I'm gonna show you where we usually drink our coffee so now I'm gonna be at the back of the camera trying to show you look at the kitchen look at those beautiful beautiful cupboards look at the green isn't it the beautiful curtains and it is the green curtains a green door look at the beautiful chairs that's all our food and our red wine there and um, but just look at that beautiful green curtains and the little red things on top and the light and look there in the corner there you can see it it was actually this was um where the the the, the animal stayed so you can see this thing this was where they ate the animals ate oopsie yeah you can see the animals ate here oh gosh i hope i you saw anything of this so you can see how they ate it over the years so they we call it the troch where the animals ate and now they're using it like this there's my stove that i made the coffee on there's the little kitchen you can see those cupboards oh man it's just gorgeous and i have no idea what i'm showing you because you're in on my front camera but i sure hope look there look 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 there on top oh it's gorgeous look at the light look at this beautiful table and chair and now i'm going out look at the sitting room isn't it gorgeous look look there when you look back you can see that beautiful thing cupboard look there oh man gorgeous gorgeous fireplace okay so now i go out you can see this is where out and look at look at my view oh my goodness look at my view this is the stoop a huge 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 stoop and there you can see me <laughs> sitting <laughs> with my crochet work that is my spot that is my spot and oh it is just gorgeous and now you can see i am now sitting on my chair and that is my spot many many photos you'll see that i took just from this spot look at the stoop and there's the farm, there's the sheep, braai area. So that's what I've been doing. We've been here now, I think it's day three or four. We move, we're going back on Wednesday. I've got another appointment. So let me go on this thing again. There I am. Thanks for joining me. Thanks that I can have coffee with you. Now I've got my coffee there in the kitchen. And um, life happens now. Let's start to enjoy it. I mean, I am enjoying the cups and the plates. 
I am enjoying this view. I even get up in the morning when I hear the, the birds starting to sing. And I enjoy my friends and I just so thankful. So thanks for joining and thanks that I can tell you and show you how we make more coffee the Boer way. Is it from Zetster's lab?